I am massively excited. I'm here with the exceptional Laura Mazula. Wow, you've been doing so well. How's it been for you? Um, it's been crazy. I am every day kind of trying to catch my breath, but I'm not really. <laughs> it's um, it's fast paced and it's exciting for me right now. I think fast paced is like an understatement. You're at South by Southwest and then you were like gigging in Europe and now you're spending your Sunday here with us. What a charitable girl. Um, tell me, I mean, it's madness. It, it's been crazy. Um, South by Southwest was incredible. Have you been? I haven't been. I actually okay. have to go. You're making me jealous. Yeah, <laughs> you have to go. First of all, the weather is the most important thing. It's like a different climate, like different thing to here. Like, totally kind of, you could take your clothes off and you'd be all right type thing. Do you strip, Laura? Uh, well, I'm, you know, I don't want to give anything away. But um, <laughs> it was just so fantastic to be able to be around so much music. And I'm talking like music literally on the street. Yeah. So like you walk past a band on the right, on the pavement, jamming. And then there's like a rock band a few yards down from that. It's just like... It's mad, but it's amazing. No, it's fantastic. And reading about you is amazing from obviously Back Voices, the a cappella group, and then you studied composition, obviously at Birmingham, um, and then sending out all those demos as well when you were working. I mean, is it something where you always knew it was music? Because it sounds like you've had such direction um, the whole time. Um, that's a really good question. I don't know whether it's something that I've always known I wanted to do. I've always naturally wanted to be involved in music. Yeah. But that's kind of been something that growing up in quite a musical family, I've always, I guess, been encouraged to, to be involved in music, whether that's playing, listening, or just, you know, being around friends and family who are into a lot of music, you know? It's always been a natural kind of thing. Um, my younger brother and sister are also working musicians and I'm very lucky to have them in my band. and. Uh, that's kind of cool because we've all we've kind of grown up playing music. That's where I really started, you know, jamming with them too. So it's all good, man. So what's it like having them here, like with you on tour and everything? <laughs> Any stories? It's something quite fantastic. I think the privilege of sharing special moments like yeah. this um, with my brother and sister, who I'm really close to, but were the first to champion my music and the first people to really get behind me and hear things and go, yeah, we really dig that. So it feels so fun just to be experiencing it with them, you know, yeah. like it feels like a dream. And then even more of a dream, someone like Paul Lester of The Guardian calls your music gospel Delia and credits you with creating a new musical genre. I mean, that's <laughs> insanity. That must be really strange. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that to me is like, what? I'm still like getting my head around all of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm, at the moment, I'm focused on the live performing which still feels so new to me. I've never been to a festival before, but I know that I'm booked into so many festivals in the summer. Like, I haven't sort of attended one prior to all of this stuff okay. that's going on. So, so it's like, huge, yeah, huge, yeah, yeah, like massive jumps. And I'm, I'm excited, man. I think it's going to be really cool. Yeah, massive jumps, but so well deserved. And tell me about the music video, Green Garden, as well. That was so beautiful. What was it like? I was asking about that. <laughs> No, but that was an insane was, production, it was huge. It was sick, like, um, at first I was, it kind of um, overwhelmed me a bit, like, I think Wendy Morgan, who's um, the director of the video, um, kind of sent her treatment in um, and just seemed to kind of capture my vision of the reason I wrote the song in the first place, which was just really to like celebrate a memory of my childhood, which was very much spent in the garden, in hot, hot summers, making music, having fun, you know? So it's just fantastic to be able to, to um, replicate that in video form. Um, when, I, when I was first, um, kind of introduced to the dancers yeah. I was majorly freaked out because like yeah, they were so good like I, I, w I, I wasn't expecting it to be so vibrant yeah. and pure energy serious yeah. exercise I love yeah. that <laughs>
It's not a joke, and I felt like, right, okay, I have to kind of... No, you held, you held your own. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but that was the most, the most immediate kind of worry, like, how am I going to kind of come across as an artist amongst so much talent and creativity, you know? Um, but it was amazing, and the, the weather, I mean, we went to three different locations, and, like, one of them was, like, a botanical garden, and it was so dreamlike, and, like surreal and special um, we shot right up until um, sunset um, wow. and it was just such a special mm. kind of moment I won't, I won't forget that you yeah. know, it was yeah. really a, an amazing amazing time and I've got a little confession for you this is actually a green garden dress that I'm wearing <laughs> because that's how cool I am I saw <laughs> I actually saw this dress and thought, I'm interviewing Laura Mavila and I can wear that. Um, is that really embarrassing? <laughs> that's, that's like something I would do, which is why I, I kind of dig that. That's really cool. I wasn't actually going to mention that because I thought, how sad that actually was. Okay, um, and obviously the video to She as well is beautiful. And it really made me think of Ghana, where, where my dad's from. Okay. Um, what were your sort of first hand experiences? Did you have any that sort of relate to that video um, directly? Yeah, I mean, Damien um, Wheelers, who um, made that video, kind of struck a chord when he wrote that he felt the video should be set in South Africa, where he was from and where he grew up. Um, and then reading the narrative of this little girl, for me, it just felt like I was the girl. Um, she seemed to really come to life with not just her, but the choir. Um, the Zalani Choir, which is um, a group of women who were singing. They were actually singing as well, um, you know, in the space live. And it was just such a special moment. I'm married to um, a, Zam a Zambian Temba, okay. who's um, in obviously incredibly important to me, and I treasure his heritage. And uh, so it was very special to be able to record the first video in, in the motherland, you know? That, that was really important for me and uh and yourself you were born in birmingham were you or yeah. were you yeah i was born in birmingham <laughs> birmingham is that a good accent <laughs> that was very good that's better than mine actually <laughs> yeah i get it's a bit gutting some people don't recognize that i'm from birmingham they think i'm from london but i think it depends on is that gutting i'm from london what are you saying <laughs> well, laura's being offensive now no, no offense <laughs> No offence, but I'm proud of being a Brummie, you know, oh, like, yeah. I like it when people recognise that I'm from, from Birmingham. Um, she Don't Stop uh, is obviously repeated in She. Is that resilience and that determination against all odds something that, that you can really relate to as well? Yeah, I think we all can. Um, and it was just something that I was feeling at the time and I wanted to find a way of expressing that through sound so it was important to me that the song would start from something quite delicate and fragile and um, that it would finish in a place that was bigger and stronger and much more happening and uh, that was the only thing that I was really conscious of just that emotion um, and that determination yeah. Okay, and lastly, what is next for you? Obviously, you said it's a huge year, you've got those festivals. Anything else we can look out for? Who knows? Like, for me, it's all about focusing on making the live performances um, work as well as they can. The record is really, um, I don't know, the songs on the record, I mean there were 22 musicians in all that found the record, so it's quite an epic sound. At the moment I have an amazing band, but there's six of us, seven of us all together. And uh, we're having to try and replicate this sound and make it as big and as interesting. So I heard your sound check and you're doing a good job. Well, thank you. Um, but uh, I hope that we kind of, it continues to evolve, and, you know, um, I can't wait to, to do more live performances with you. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, live performances. I am ecstatic that you are here with us at Nobu Unplugged. So, so excited. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you.